Let's do another example of using the rigid rotator in uh, two dimensions. What is the expectation value for the angle for a particle on a string? All right, expectation value. So just in general, we said that the expectation value uh, for some quantity a, that will be the integral over all space of the complex conjugate, this is for a particular value of uh, quantum number n, times the operator corresponding to that observable times the wave function integrated over all space. So now the uh, what we want is the expectation value. Uh, what symbol are we using here? Well, we're not using anything, so let's call it theta. What's the uh, average or expectation value for theta you would expect for a particle on a string? Well, that's integral over all space. The all space for that angle is 0 to 2 pi. The um, wave function, square root of 2 pi, 1 over square root of 2 pi, times e to the minus i m phi, complex conjugate, with that a negative sign. All right. So times the operator corresponding to the angle. The operator corresponding to the angle is just multiplied by the angle. And then Again, we have this wave function, 1 over the square root of 2 pi e to the i m phi integrated over this angle uh, theta. I'm sorry, over the angle, what am I thinking? Uh, over the angle phi. So why did we use theta here? Hmm, don't know. The expectation, let's use the same symbol. Uh, so let's use phi. Okay, so and this will be the angle um, phi there. Okay, there. Now we got it straight. Okay, so let's do the usual thing. A 1 over 2 pi comes out. e to the minus, e to the plus, that goes to 1. So we're just integrating from 0 to 2 pi of this angle phi times d phi. Well, that's 1 over 2 pi. Um, the integral here is uh, phi squared over 2 evaluated between 0 and 2 pi. That's uh, 1 over 2 pi. Um, this will be uh, 2 pi quantity squared divided by 2. That's the upper limit. The lower limit is 0. So this comes out to be, uh, let's see, pi uh, comes out to be pi. Yeah. I think that 2 cancels. Yes. So the expectation value for this angle, or the average value, is pi. Let's see if that makes sense. So here's our coordinate system here. Here's our particle on a string. It's going around here. And that's that angle phi, not theta phi. And, okay, yeah, the average angle, so the particle is equally li uh, likely to be found anywhere along this circular orbit here. So on the average, it would be found somewhere here, somewhere here. On the average, it would be found as pi. So that sort of makes sense.